Good morning, good morning. Look who has greeted me here at the apartment. They're just spawning like crazy. Like, we don't get Tauros at these rates back home. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I really haven't seen a ton of Tauros since Gen 2 launched. But over here, it's Kangaskhan all day, every day. Anyway, as I work on this, the goal today is, well, it's my last day in Sydney, and I really just want to kind of take it easy. I'm going to head out into the city. Um, I put way too much money on my Opal card for the train because I thought that this apartment was closer to the CBD. Turns out it was one stop away from the airport. Five day streak. That means tomorrow's six. That means I'm probably going to lose my streak before seven. That's not good. I'm up to 57 Kangaskhan candies. All right. There's some stops close by. I think that's actually right where the train station is. So I'll head down there. I'm going to spend some stops, uh, get some breakfast, and then just take it easy. Walk around Sydney one last time. All right, breakfast sorted. Looks like there's, oh, <laughs> there's three Kangaskhans around. I don't even have to get on the train yet. Fortunately, they're sort of in different directions, but we'll start with this. First spin, five day streak. It's like a bit of a walk, but I'm heading down that way. If I get down here, and that's actually the case, both of them gone. What? So the hook stops in here somewhere. There is at least one Kangaskhan there, so. Can I even go in there? Oh, sure. I mean, it's not there anymore, but I'm on my way back towards the train station now. There's also a Dratini right here coming up, so that'll be nice. I mean, it'll be nice if it doesn't despawn. Yep, there it is. Perfect timing. Check this out. I'm actually getting low on Pokeballs. I'm down to, what, 37? I guess that's what happens when you play away from the city for a while be able to stock back up today. Although Go Plus is gonna Okay. Hopefully I can stock back up today, although Go Plus is gonna be going off non-stop. Jeez. Alright, I gotta go Ultra Ball. I have to. Even those I'm getting low on. 56? I haven't been under a hundred Pokeballs in like months. Since moving to Long Beach, I'm sure. Better have perfect IVs if I'm struggling this much. By the way, IVs don't influence catch rate at all. That's something I get asked a lot, but there's no relationship between IVs and your chances of catching a wild Pokemon. There we go. Let's see. here because I drifted a little bit while I was on the train and saw Blastoise nearby. Although to be fair, I, I really have no idea. I think it was down that way where I was. I'm not sure. I mean, I don't have a plan today, so I can afford to wander about for a Blastoise for at least the next 20 minutes until it probably despawns before I find it. Oh god. Well, I just came out of the station and it turns out I'm nowhere near where I thought I was. Um, I guess uh, the GPS was just completely inaccurate while I was down there in the tunnel, which is to be expected, but at least there's a Kangaskhan right here, so I'll grab that. Ah, here it is, with a pincer as well. I 
have no idea where I am, Sydney. Just wandering around. All right, I'm going Pineapple Ultra. You might need to like... Well, that was good enough. Just trying to get away from the sounds over here. Mudslap Earthquake, decent IVs, six candies, and another one. Thank you. This is really all I want out of today, to see a little bit of Sydney. We'll let these Kangaskhans just lead me around. I already found a nice art gallery thanks to uh, Pokemon spawns. Let's see what else I can find. There we go. Hopefully that's good enough. Yep. There are so many, and that looks like a skate park. There's one there. All right, we'll head up, grab that one, and then loop back around for the rest of them. Might as well try to go plus these pincers while I'm at it. Oh my god, I just stopped for a second to take my jacket off because it's getting hot, and <laughs> look who showed up. It's a 30 CP Blastoise. I don't know if this is the same one that I thought I saw earlier, but I will happily take a level one Blastoise for those 20 Squirtle candies and a new Pokemon in my level one collection. Nice. Now, let's go get the rest of those Kangaskhan. Here's Kangaskhan number one of our upcoming three. Honestly, how telling is that of the spawn situation here in Sydney, that that was my level of hype for a wild Blastoise. I mean, granted, I've never been like the super hype type, but I really don't even feel like that's gonna be the best or craziest spawn in this video. Still, a 30 CP Blastoids. Now, more Kangaskhans on the menu. I'm up to 81 candies. I'm gonna power up one of these. Ooh, and a 10K. Let's keep moving though. I'm gonna power up one of these Kangaskhans so big when I get back home. Yes! Brilliant. Please tell me that's, yep, attack. Yep. Hey! It's two good Larvitars now. Alright, where's the next one? Here's the Pokestop. Here's the Kangaskhan. Well, I'm gonna give it the Raspberry, because I don't want to risk this one running away with the Pineapp. Not my best throw, but let's see. Wait, there's still one right up this way, up at the skate park, and then another one probably at one of those other Pokestops right there. All right, egg hatching. Two Kangaskhans right here. More eggs. There's probably gonna be a couple more. Last one. That's good. I actually want to hatch more of those. Seven candies is kind of pathetic, but it's a good one. Now, not quite. I need to get out of here. One of these is despawning soon. Don't need that, but I can do the evolution times like eight. All right, they must be, I don't know which one. One of them, let's get them quick. the wrong one. The other one despawned. Bummer. I am right now in a tunnel underneath Hyde Park. Toted down nest so I can still catch them from down here. I figure I'd just head into like the middle of the city, CBD area, since there's probably gonna be a lot of Pokemon spawning around here. I'll have a good chance of finding Kangaskhan. Probably a pretty good chance of finding other rare Pokemon. Plus, you know, if nothing else, Totodile Nest. I feel like 
I'm watching a game of Wizards chess here. Knight to H3. But hey, here's something. This was a new Pokedex entry for me two days ago, four days ago. How many days ago? I can't remember. I only have 18 pineapple berries. That was totally unnecessary. It's 90 CP. I've just been following Pokestops around. I ended up in like Chinatown, which is perfect because I'm getting hungry. But there's a Blissey ahead. I knew that Blastoise wasn't going to be the best thing all day. There's the gate. Come on. Yuck. Any second now. There she is. 926. I was hoping she'd be a little fluffier than that. Uh, but I will. I will risk the pineapple berry on this. Oh, that is so red still. Maybe it needs to be a raspberry. There you go. Great throw. This is my first ever wild Blissey encounter, I'm pretty sure, and that was not even close. All right, it's gotta be raspberry. I'm sorry. The candies are important, but I want this catch. Critical catch, that's perfect. Let's see. Pound Psychic. Pretty decent. Wild Blissey. Welcome back to Sydney. Now, I'll head back to Chinatown and find something to eat. back towards Hyde Park now. Got an egg hatching here. I just feel like it's my hub. My Pokemon Go hub. More eggs. It's always more than I expect. I'm still waiting on a King's Rock. It's the only evolution item that I haven't picked up yet. Alright, there's the park up there. I'm almost back to the park, but look at this. I'm going this way. Is this the same place where I caught the Aerodactyl? That's it, right there. And now, oh my god, this is like to make up for the Dragonite that I missed that day. 562. This might be a stupid, unnecessary risk, giving it the pineapple berry. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good about today. Let's see. Steel wing, hyper beam, uh, decent IVs. But you know what? It's a Dragonite. That's 20 more Dratini candies. In the same place where I caught the Aerodactyl and where there was a Dragonite that first day here in Sydney. Unbelievable. Here we go. One more. Probably gonna head back to the apartment soon. I mean, the train station's right here. 101 CP. This might be the last one of the day. Unless I can get some back at the apartment. But I do want to get an early start and edit because I have to get up early for the flight tomorrow. We'll see. Alright, up to 99 candies. And they're all Kangaskhan. Hit me! So I'm here back at the apartment editing and I realize that I didn't actually record an ending to that video. The next clip that I have was the morning, the next day, leaving to the airport. So I just want to finish it off by saying I'm super grateful to everyone who's supporting this channel, uh, especially those who are contributing on Patreon. It is because of you and all your support 
that this trip was even possible. When Pokemon Go was first announced, the dream, the idea behind the channel was to grow it to a point where I could have the freedom to travel like this in order to catch Pokemon and also to see the world. So I just want to say uh, now, especially with everything that's going on with the ad boycott on YouTube and ad revenue falling, uh, I'm, I'm incredibly grateful that that trip was still possible, mainly um, just because of your support. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as a special treat, we do have some pins available now. We're going to stagger these. We have actually uh, a few different styles that are going to be coming out pretty soon. So this first batch is going to be team colors. We have red, yellow, and blue pins. We'll have a hundred of each color available as soon as this video goes live. So make sure you hit the link in the description to go grab those. But if you don't get some this time around, don't worry because we are going to have more coming out uh, every week for the next, I want to say four or five weeks. We're just staggering it a little bit because it makes it easier to take care of all the orders and get them shipped out rather than taking on like 600 orders at a time. So stay tuned, team colors this week, we might have something new and interesting next week. Some that might drop when uh, some special content drops in Pokemon Go. But for now, make sure you hit that link in the description, check it out. Thank you so much for watching, thank you for supporting. No uploads over the weekend, but I'll see you right back here on Monday.